Robotics is a very impressive field that's been rapidly making a lot of progress. Maybe one day we'll reach fully automated production facilities, and thanks to DeepMind, we're getting one step closer to that future. Their new AI has never before seen capabilities that'll revolutionize the world of robotics as we know it. Watch till the end to learn all that this AI has to offer. RoboCat. Robotics has one huge caveat. Most are programmed to do one or a few specific tasks really well. If you asked it to do anything else, it wouldn't understand. This is where AI can help. Recent advancements in AI could help robots to learn better and faster. Thanks to AI, we can have general purpose robots that can perform a variety of tasks rather than just one task very well. And while that sounds easy on paper, it's much more difficult in practice. The reason for this is training. Training AI requires a lot of data, and getting that data for robots can be a slow and difficult process, which is one of the reasons why the progress on creating general purpose robots is going so slow. But thanks to Google's subsidiary, DeepMind, we're getting one step closer to having general purpose robots. On June 20th, 2023, DeepMind published a paper talking about its latest invention, a self-improving AI agent for robotics known as RoboCat. RoboCat generates its own set of training data after it receives some initial training. When it learns to do a task, it'll generate more data to improve itself, giving it a bigger set of data to learn from. This is a massive leap forward in the field of AI and robotics. Thanks to this, a large amount of training data does not need to be acquired for the sake of RoboCat learning how to pick up blocks. Google acquired the London-based company back in 2014, and it looks like their investment in DeepMind is paying off. The RoboCat AI is the first model in the world that can learn and solve a number of problems that can vary in objectives. It can undertake and adapt to a variety of tasks, and it does this using real-world robots. Most of the demonstrations shown off by DeepMind have been done using robotic arms as well. Before, people have looked into how robots can multitask at scale. Scientists have been researching ways to build robots that can do numerous activities at once and merge language models with the practical capabilities of a robot helper. And RoboCat is the first agent to do this successfully. RoboCat is super fast at learning too. Compared to other state-of-the-art models, all it needs is 100 demonstrations and it can grasp a new task easily, meaning humans don't need to supervise this robot during training 100% of the time. Increasing its capability of being a general purpose robot as well as speeding up the research of robots in the process. The reason why RoboCat learns so quickly is thanks to the fact that it already has a large and diverse data set established. It accesses this data set in order to properly understand the task. Demonstration. In Google's blog post, they even shared a demonstration of RoboCat, and not just on one robot arm, but on an entirely new one as well. During a series of experiments conducted by DeepMind, RoboCat accomplished the remarkable feat of learning and executing 253 tasks across four distinct types of robots. What's more, the robot successfully adapted its training to transition from a two-fingered robot arm to a three-fingered one with double the number of controllable inputs. This showcases how intelligent this AI is as even a human being would struggle using an entirely new limb if that level of bioengineering were possible in this day and age. Consider how long it takes for people to learn how to walk. It takes years to get a handle on the balancing and physics of your own body, so it cannot be understated how impressive this AI is at handling these difficult tasks that may seem ordinary to the average person while also switching its appendage in the process. But while these tasks are difficult, Something like leaving a like is very easy. So remember to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the latest AI news. But let's get back to RoboCat. All the team has to do is present a desired object arrangement to one of its cameras. This is all the information RoboCat needs to do the task. RoboCat attempts to solve the assigned task by arranging objects in a manner similar to the desired configuration. It can effectively manage diverse starting conditions and goal images for the same task. RoboCat's training did not involve exposure to data featuring human hands. Even so, it exhibits robust performance when encountering out-of-distribution goal images. And it's not just human hands that it has never encountered. It's also never seen Sawyer robots lifting objects either. This is an unseen robot type, and we can call it Zero Shot. This is because it's never used nor seen the Sawyer arm performing a task before. To showcase the versatility of RoboCat's skills, 
The team lets this AI control the entirely new Sawyer arm. They then place the objects in front of a Sawyer robot, which possesses different action specifications compared to the panda robot Robocat was controlling earlier. This experiment demonstrates the impressive capability of Robocat to transfer its knowledge across various robot embodiments, making it extremely versatile and also reducing the time and money it would take to train or program for every robot arm. Robocat is also very agile. It'll be able to respond to changes in the environment and try its best to solve the assigned task, even if a few disturbances crop up. One AI for multiple robots. Robocat's training encompassed operating various robotic arms, and remarkably, it quickly learned to control different arm types within a few hours. Robocat managed to successfully pick up gears with an entirely new arm 86% of the time, and it only observed 1,000 demonstrations being done by humans. DeepMind says that it took a small amount of time to collect this much data. Reaching a 86% success rate so quickly could allow Robocat to adapt its skills to tasks that put both understanding and precision to the test, like selecting the correct fruit from a bowl and solving shape-matching puzzles. DeepMind says that these types of tasks are crucial for complex control. Robocat is capable of improving by itself the more it learns. DeepMind refers to Robocat as a self-improving generalist, an AI that gets better at learning new tasks the more information it gets trained on. This cycle of training is extremely beneficial as it means the returns on training become greater and greater the more the AI learns. The initial version of Robocat only achieved a 36% success rate in previously unseen tasks. Bear in mind it only learned from 500 demonstrations per task. But the latest iteration of Robocat, which has been exposed to a wider range of tasks during training, has more than doubled its success rate on those same tasks. Robocat is able to improve itself so much thanks to its massive amount of experience, an amount that is only growing day by day. DeepMind compares this to human learning, where when a person immerses themselves in a particular domain, they end up developing a broader range of skills in the process. Robocat can acquire new skills automatically, and not just acquire them, but also improve upon them in the process. Its versatility in adapting to new tasks and new robotic devices allows us to enter a new generation of general-purpose robotic agents that can be extremely helpful in various fields. How does it work? Google's multimodal AI known as Gato was the basis for RoboCat. Gato is Spanish for cat, so it makes sense that this new AI has cat in the name too. Gato was capable of processing information in real life and in simulations. Information like language, images, and actions. Gato is capable of playing video games, chatting, stacking blocks with a real robot arm, and even captioning images. So DeepMind combined the architecture of Gato with a large data set that had many robots doing a variety of tasks. Roughly hundreds of different tasks. Training RoboCat took place in five steps. 100 to a 1,000 demonstrations were collected using a human controlling a robot arm. Then Robocat would be fine-tuned on this arm, which would make a new spin-off agent in the process. This spin-off agent would then practice this task 10,000 times more, which would create even more training data in the process. This training data would then be incorporated into the initial data set Robocat was being trained on. And lastly, a new version of Robocat would be trained on this ever-growing data set. The kind of data RoboCat is trained on involved simulated, real-world, and self-generated examples. So could RoboCat learn how to do something as complex as assembling a car engine just from a few demonstrations? Let us know if you think it can realize that potential. Like the video and subscribe for more AI content in the future.